Hey peeps, Jess here and welcome to a little bit of a food tour. That is, I have a friend coming from out of town tomorrow and I haven't gotten stuff for her, but I realized the things I'm picking up would be really both a great little trek around like the downtown and the waterfront and there'll be some good snacks both for the plane ride home and also just to bring to friends because you gotta bring food snacks, you're coming from Seattle. And on top of that, this is actually pretty accessible. But you're gonna hit Pike Place, the waterfront, and Pioneer Square, all in one little loop. So let's go. First though, we gotta go to Franz, cause it's Franz. here because while I've covered Franz before, in fact, they were the first video that I ever put up on this channel, which you should totally watch because it's behind the scenes tour stuff. It's awesome. Franz is a bunch of stuff that just doesn't make it out of Seattle. So I got the Todd Noir, which has a macadamia nut in it. I got one of the hazelnut crunch truffles, which I can't have, but they're quite tasty when I did get to eat them. And just some other goodies, because they're fun. Next, we're going to Pike Place for cheese. Now that I feel like a fancy bag lady because I am weighted down with cheese, we need to talk about Dilarenti. So Dilarenti is a really established specialty grocer and they carry everything in here. You want cheese, you want fancy salami, you want chocolate. There's a little bit of everything. I came here specifically for butter and then got cheese that turned out they had some really good cheese. Got myself a lovely Gouda, some of the Cherry Valley Dairy Butter. It's some of the best butter in the United States, I will let you know. And they cut it into wedges and it's amazing. And then I got some of the Lost Peacock Thai Chili Garlic Shab because it, if you haven't had it, it is literally just so good. The chili and the garlic and the freshness of the Shab. I, I know I should be geeking out the butter, but you need to try the Shab. And if you need something else for the trip, like some jerky or some crackers, they got you covered. Let's keep moving. And of course, if Dilarenti doesn't sound like your thing, definitely raid Pike Place Market. I've covered a lot of their snacks in previous videos, but there's everything here from really good chocolate to ice cream to pastries. So pick what sounds awesome to you and just get some. But now we're walking down in the market. So welcome to Western Avenue. We are literally right beneath, like, right beneath Pike Place Market. Pike Place actually continues there. That's the waterfront marketplace where indie chocolate is and a bunch of other goodies and honest biscuits. We are not going there today. We are dealing with this awful inconsistent light to get two things, popcorn and some of the best spices in Seattle. The popcorn is actually pretty new. Cobbs has only been there a few months. They took over from Choquette, the eclair space that was there previously. And this whole area is kind of getting redeveloped right now. It used to be really unknown. Now I'm actually seeing people on the other side. So if you haven't been here before, World Spice Merchants is literally one of the best spice places you can find anywhere. I do believe it is Elton Brown approved. What I love about them is that you can get both whole spices and ground spices. And honestly, one of the best things to take home are spices just because then you can bake afterwards. So the nice thing is once you get your spices, your popcorn and whatever else you want, you can go to the waterfront from the waterfront trail or the hill climb. It's 
super not the easiest, but there is an elevator in case this is just looking too intense already. And also from here, you've got way more options. They do have a free waterfront shuttle that gets you all around this area. I'll put a link to that below so you can check it out. But for now, we're gonna just go hit the waterfront and then I was gonna go to Intrigue and get some chocolate because I know that the chocolate I need is in stock. Welcome to the Seattle waterfront. Honestly, most locals don't actually come here, except for things like the aquarium or going to the ferry terminal. We just don't have a lot to do here. It is really cool to see at least once, usually as a destination detour, rather than making a full day of it, but it is cute. I mean, I, I still haven't actually gone on that. Had to grab the chocolate. And there you have it, some of the awesome food gifts you can grab for yourself, on the plane, for your friends. Some, yes, are perishable, some aren't. Because seriously, I need me some good cheese on those flights. Love to hear from you in the comments below. Have you tried any of them or do you want to? Because clearly I did not cover the extent of this. You could have taken so many different pathways, had so many different good treats. And with that, I'll catch you next time. Laters. <laughs> this, this is, I am burdened with glorious problems. <laughs>